So based off the video where I won a bunch of these in a machine, uh, it was a little bit too strong in some ways. Uh, I had two boxes that had a little bit of damage on them. So we're going to go ahead and open them up and make sure that the uh, alien inside is safe, not broken. Uh, obviously broken merchandise is a bad idea. <clears throat> um, I've already cut the tape on this one. Still need to open it up though. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, it even gives you instructions on how to assemble, and it looks like they made it so that way you can't uh, put the Ron spike into the Ron area by giving them special shapes. So, uh, that's pretty awesome. It's actually something I don't regularly see with a lot of the uh, figures that you win. I'm not sure what happened there. So, as you can see here, uh, the damage to this box was in the same area um, from people trying to push too hard on it uh, on the top of the package. So, but that appears to be a fairly empty area. That being said, it's just guarded by a uh, flimsy cardboard box. So, we're going to go ahead and pull them out and take a look at it. Nothing in there. <clears throat> All right, and for this, we're just gonna make a small cut here. Just need enough off of it to get him out to make sure he is not busted. Because if he's busted, I can actually order a replacement here in Japan a lot easier than I could if I was back in the States. All right. So, we've got all the pieces here. Um, for the most part, they appear to be pretty good, actually. I don't see any chips or broken off pieces. Um, same goes for the tail pieces. Let's go ahead and pull out the figure <coughs> and check him. And this is going to give you guys a little insight as to how it looks as well, as well as the coloration. Uh, so they did a fairly decent job trying to protect it, even the small parts um, covering the feet in plastic and everything. Uh, it looks like it's got a little drool built into it. Um, hmm. You can see where they put the backing onto this, so it looks like the head was originally a multi-part. <clears throat> um, all the fingers seem to be intact. No broken parts, nothing feels like it's just gonna give after I uh, put it back in. Um, very well detailed. And then as you can see, here's the different types of holes for the uh, attaching spikes. Same with the tail. So, overall really good, uh, fairly hefty actually. Um, so yeah, that one's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and put it back and then we will open up the other one. Excuse me, I need something to drink. <clears throat> Alright, now we're gonna do the other one, make sure that this one's fine. So, I'm just gonna cut the tape right there. There. And there. I hate these. They don't ever want to give. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. 
same instructions. You can see where this box is getting a little bit of damage. Uh, go ahead and put those right there for the moment. Pull this out. And you can see on the inside, this definitely got a little bit of abuse when it was being pushed on. And it was pushing the uh, figure into the box. So that's why I'm going ahead and checking these. <clears throat> it even looks like the pieces moved up a little bit there. We're just going to push those back down to be in the same area as the others. <clears throat> Alright, so... I don't see any damage on any of these pieces. No chips or flakes coming off of the tailpiece. Okay, so now on to the figure. I may keep this one actually just because I can. <clears throat> Alrighty, so all digits. Nothing feels like it's going to just come off. Uh, yeah. And then let's go ahead and fully assemble this guy. Just so that way you guys can see the assembly process. <clears throat> so first off obviously you have to get these off. And for those of you who don't know this is actually the special color edition vice the normal one. Uh, the normal one was released about a couple months ago so this is the newer one. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of green in there, aside from the black. Alrighty. I'll just put him there for a moment. Let's get the uh, big piece out of the way, the tail. So, and as you can see here, it shows you that the tip of the tail piece, which is this one, is going to connect into here. So, just push that on. Fits actually rather seamlessly for the most part, but it helps that it's, you know, an endoskeleton style statue, so. All right. Go ahead and uh, plug up his butthole, you know, you know. It's a little tight fit there. There we go. Alrighty. So that puts that together. I'm going to lean it against the box. And then now we got to get these out. The easiest way I can think of is a little shakedown. I mean, aside from just tearing the uh, bubble wrap. Squeeze out like a ketchup packet here. Put that there. Alrighty. And then from here you can actually see which ones are which. So, and they will only fit into their designated slot. So, let's see here. This one should be right here. And you will need to use a little bit of force with these. They can take a little bit of a beating though, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, for this one, it looks like it's gonna go right here okay for this one we're gonna put you right here pretty 
pretty sure that's it. Oh, maybe not. Sorry. And then this one goes here, obviously. Last one to go, you know. And then the big one. Straight on, straight on, there we go. Really simple and easy construction, very sturdy feeling. You can shake it and it's just not gonna fall apart. Um, and then obviously, I've got a lot of cloth and everything here, but he should, in essence, stand on his own. And there you guys have it. The Alien Triple S Premium Big Figure Special Collector. Color Edition, sorry. Really well done. Um, it looks like it's intended to balance by using the back talon on the foot, so. Uh, it might balance a little precariously at first. Just try to keep that in mind. So, this. There's a box underneath here, and that's probably why it's not sitting straight. But as soon as I put the forward foot a little bit lower, it seems to be just fine. Anyways, hope this was entertaining to you guys. And uh, stay tuned, I will discuss my next giveaway. So for my March giveaway, I'll be using the two couple Nico's uh, bunnies as well as another box of the Sakura chocolates for this giveaway. Uh, as you can see here they look delicious and they can be displayed very cutely. Um, all you have to do to enter this is comment Sakura Festival at Crane Train in the comments below and like subscribe and share guys. I'd love to continue to keep doing more of these giveaways for you. I just need your help to get out there. Uh, I'd also like to announce the winner of the Valentine's Day giveaway, and it is Cassie Erdenbrack. Congratulations, Cassie. I will be attempting to get in touch with you, and please, if you see this, feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook or on YouTube, just at me. Uh, I'd love to continue to do a lot more giveaways, guys. I have plenty of things to give away. I just need your help, so help me get out there, share anything. I will see you guys next time.